Fire in the hole, let's cook some chicken. Stay tuned. Whenever I make chicken on the grill uh, and I have guests over, they always ask me the same question. They say, how do you get your chicken to be so uh, moist and flavorful? And I just, you know, kind of smile, laugh, and drink another beer, because I'm not going to tell them my secrets. But I'm going to tell you my secret, because I like you. You're my, you're my peeps. What I do is, I'm going to hit that chicken with some Sang stir fry. Well, I got some uh, skin, skin on bone in thighs, and I got some skinless, uh, boneless breasts. My wife, that's what she likes, and I like the, uh, I like the skin on bone in. And this is some Tango Spice Chicken and Rib Rub that happens to be my favorite. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that on there. Sprinkle a little bit of that Tango Spice on there. On that chicken, you put whatever kind of chicken spice you like. But here's the, here's the secret of it. Generic, run of the mill, store brand, Italian salad dressing. What I do is I put the chicken in a bag, about four hours ahead of time before you cook it. Get our chicken in a bag, like so. Get my chicken in a bag. Yes, sir. It helps all gonna fit. Okay, let's get them breasts in there. Because I like big breasts and I cannot lie. You get them breasts in there, okay. It's gonna barely gonna fit in my bag. What we're going to do now is pour in some of that Italian salad dressing. About half a jug of Italian salad dressing. You got to mix it up real good before you do that. Pour about half of it in there. Oh, it smells good already. And you got to marinate that for about four hours before you cook the chicken. And that's going to make your chicken nice and moist and flavorful. But that's not all we're going to do to it. So anyway, we got it ready for the marinade. We're going to marinate that for about four hours. Four hours minimum. You can go overnight. That's even better. And then we're going to get that on the grill and show you what that looks like. And uh, I'm going to give away a bottle of barbecue sauce. If you watch till the end, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comment. I'm going to give away a bottle of barbecue sauce, a special barbecue sauce, not just any barbecue sauce. So stay tuned. Okay, my chicken's been marinating for about four hours in the fridge. What we're going to do now is get it out of there and lay it right on the hot coals. Just like that. Directly on the hot fire. We're going to get it seared up. And uh, make a little smoke, a little fire right there. Probably can't fit it all on. That's okay. We'll take shifts. It's easy enough to do. Get that on there. Tell you what, smells good already. Get a little bit of a sear on there. Flip them over. Both sides. Just like that. That one almost got away. Nothing better than barbecue chicken on the grill. Look at that one. There you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. And that one, looking good. And this one, looking pretty good. Okay. We're going to get that seared up and move it off. Once we get it seared, we're going to move it indirect and mop it with some more of that uh, Italian salad dressing, so stay tuned. So as you can see, my chicken has got a nice sear to it. It's got some grill marks. Now I'm going to take that remaining Italian salad dressing and with my new mop brush that I got from my buddy Manuel Rios, you know Manuel, El Rabbit's Barbecue, sent me this mopping brush. We're going to mop that chicken with that salad dressing keep it nice and moist get that mopped on there you like my new brush cool huh that's a mopping brush 
We're gonna mop it with that Italian salad dressing. Get it all mopped up with that. We're gonna put the cover on that. It's gonna cook about 45 minutes until it comes up to uh, internal temperature 170 degrees. And we'll mop it every 15 minutes between now and then. And uh, meanwhile, while it's cooking, let's put the cover on that. I think we should drink a beer, so stay tuned. Okay, while well, my chicken's cooking, it's time for a little liquid refreshment. What we got here today is Stone Delicious IPA. And this is India Pale Ale with lemon drop and El Dorado hops. Sounds good to me. It also says on it, drink it fresh. Drink it fresh. Let's see, what's the uh, ABV on this? Drink fresh is bottled on 11 20 15. No, that's wrong. It's gotta be. I'm sorry, enjoy by 2 <laughs> 231 16. So I got to the end of the month, 7.7% alcohol on that Stone IPA. But they want you to drink it fresh, so we gotta drink it right now. Today. Can't mess around. So let's drink this, let's pour this out, see what it looks like. Take a sniff and take a taste of that. I'm looking forward to it. Lemon drop and El Dorado hops. Lemon drop hops, I'm hoping they're gonna taste like a citrusy, excellent, good stuff. Stone Delicious IPA, lemon drop and El Dorado hops. Yeah, it's beautiful, a beautiful IPA. Let's take a sniff. Ah, it smells like an IPA should. You can smell the citrus and the beautiful scent of the hops. Roll, let's quaff the froth, baby. Ready, let's go. Well, it lives up to its name. Delicious IPA. That is delicious. Okay, my chicken's still cooking, so uh, as soon as it gets done, we'll get it off there and plate it up and show you what that looks like. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment, and you might win some of what I'm gonna show you in a little minute, so stay tuned. The chicken is nearly done, and what we wanna do now is glaze it with some of the best barbecue sauce you'll ever have. You know you want it. Manuel Rios El Rabbit's barbecue sauce. I've given away a jar of that. So if you uh, like this video and comment on it, I'm gonna pick a random winner. We got the, uh, you know you want it regular in the green dish for my old lady because she can't take nothing spicy. And we're just gonna glaze up those breasts with that like that, but that look good. Glaze up them breasts, oh yeah. Let's not talk about glazing up no breasts, okay? Let's keep it cool. And on my chicken thighs, I'm gonna put some of the, you know you want it spicy, because that's my favorite of the two. You know you want it spicy. Gonna get that on there. Yes, sir, don't that look good? Looks good enough to eat. Might need a little bit more of that. I think so. I'm running out. I need to pour a little bit more of the spicy in the red dish so I can get some uh, get some of that spiciness, that goodness on there. Look at that chicken. Don't that look good? Can you see that? Don't worry. I'm going to plate it up soon. Yeah, so let's just glaze our chicken up with some you know you want it sauce. Get some of that on there. Get it cooked on there. Look at that piece right there, boy. That looks good. Glaze it up good, okay. Just gotta cook for a little bit more, a little bit longer, and we'll plate it up and take a taste, so stay tuned. That's what I call a plate of beautiful barbecued chicken, old school barbecued chicken right there. I'm gonna cut off a piece of one of my thighs Take a taste of it. Don't that look good? Smear it in some of that Manuel Rios barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. You know what? That is sublime. I forgot my uh, beer, beer mug in the house. I have to gesture with a, a bottle of sauce. So you know what I always say, babies. 
If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go over and see my buddy Manuel El Rabbit's Barbecue. He's cooking up some cool stuff. He's the master of Texas brisket. Don't you believe it? He is the master. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but if we put you know you wanted barbecue sauce on it, it'll be good. But we will drink a beer, and I left my beer in the house. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, usually I gesture with my, my beer can, but whatever. Here, we'll do it with the bottle. Yeah, come back next week. And uh, we may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. And go see Manuel Rios, and stay tuned to the end of the video to find out who won the armadillo pepper barbecue sauce and rub from last week. Okay? Okay, babies, we'll see y'all later. That's old-fashioned barbecue chicken for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.